Tia mikakati iliopewa kipaumbele ni kuimarisha ubora wa huduma za ukaguzi zinazotolewa na kuwa shirika linalotoa huduma za ufanisi. Our critical stakeholders are the citizens of this country. And we have initiated citizen accountability audits where auditors now engage and rely on the beneficiaries of an implemented project to ascertain whether what has been provided in the entity's records is factual on the ground. We are following the shilling to the ground. This due diligence has enhanced the credibility of audit reports as it leaves the entity and the citizens satisfied that the auditors work at value. And we want to thank our development partners, the civil society, Transparency International for assisting us in this area and partnering with us. I want to assure you that uh, as has been the case before, we will continue in our role and mandate to support the, the Office of the Auditor General. For me, accountability and transparency are key ingredients to preserve public trust in public governance. And our two organizations, the Institutional Parliament and the OAG, have uh, crucial roles in ensuring public resources as if their statement are uh, well utilized. The two of us are fundamental actors in the oversight uh, of public spending and the exposed control of budget execution. It's only fair that, uh, that the citizenry, through the process that the Auditor General has indicated, of even the process of uh, audits, engaging with them, is a, that's a form of, um, of uh, public participation in the process, which is uh, one of the values in uh, capture and, uh, in uh, Article 10 of the Constitution. Na tukiendelea na taarifa ni kwamba mahakama ya Kahawa County ya Nairobi imewaachilia huru wafanyakazi sita wa kampuni ya umeme ya Kenya Power kwa madai ya kukosa ushahidi dhidi ya kesi yao. Selin Nyangere na mengi zaidi. Koti ya Kahawa wendani jijini Nairobi leo imetoa uamuzi na kuachilia huru wafanyakazi sita wa kampuni ya umeme ya Kenya Power ambao walikuwa wamekamatwa wiki iliyopita kuhusiana na kupotea kwa umeme kote nchini kulingana na koti hiyo hakuna ushahidi unaowahusisha wafanyikazi hao na kosa hilo ambalo hapo awali lilitajwa kama la jinai huku hayo yakijiri kampuni ya umeme imetoa notisi kwenye mtandao wao wa kijamii ya Twitter kuwa baadhi ya maeneo katika kaunti za Nairobi na Mombasa yataathirika kwa kukosa umeme kwa ajili ya marekebisho yatakayofanywa maeneo hayo maeneo yatakayoathirika katika kaunti ya Nairobi ni kama UN Avenue United Nations Crescent Two Rivers Mall Whispers Avenue Runda Water Eludumathu na upande za Lavington na kaunti ya Mombasa ni maeneo kama vile Mombasa Academy English Point Greenwood Light Academy Carol Drive, Koroga Hotel, Moyen Drive, kaunti za Kilifi, Bungoma na Makweni pia yataathirika na marekebisho hayo. Tarehe 11 